Hey everybody, I have a bit of an issue that started about a year ago. I'm just looking at it, starting to get taken care of. But uh, my master shower has been leaking. I finally opened up to see the pipes, and you can see it's a cast iron drain. It's not in good shape, it's got a large crack in it. I just chipped a lot of calcium deposits and all kinds of stuff off of the pipe itself. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this section of the cast iron and that hub right there. And uh, what I want to make a video of is drilling out. I'm probably not going to record myself drilling because this battery is real low. I need to charge it. But uh, you can see there I've already started. Took a 3 16th inch drill bit. I'm going to drill all the way around, get rid of all the lead, and then I'll be able to wiggle and pull this pipe out <clears throat> and I bought one of these Fernco 2x2 2 2 inch by 2 inch cast iron to PVC coupler push that into the pipe and cut some PVC push it into the end and then we'll have watertight connection so I'm going to add more video to this I'm going to let this charge while I drill this out I'll be back This is going to be a short clip of the actual drilling process. Pretty straightforward, but some people like myself need. trying to get all the lead out so you can loosen the connection and get the oakum out and clean out the hole so I've heard it takes a while we'll see how it goes okay, here's a quick update on what's going on I uh, use my angle grinder as far as I can get around to cut this section of pipe open I wanted to leave enough pipe there so I had enough leverage when I get enough of the lead and oakum out to be able to break this loose had to use a hacksaw to get the rest of the way through. Couldn't get my angle iron back here, or angle grinder correctly. I've noticed something when you're drilling these out. You'll know when you get through the lead. Because the drill, get, of course, gets real easy. When it just hits the oakum, it gets nice and easy. Also found out you don't want to try to try to swirl the bit around. Because uh, <laughs> tempered bits are brittle. So I've broken one off in there. I'm going to continue drilling up this side finish drilling in the top and I should be able to pop this pipe out hopefully I won't have to drill anything on this left side but we'll see more to come here's another update I'm at about an hour digging and beating on this thing and uh getting there but it's taking a while definitely taking a while I will uh, start recording again right before I take the pipe out okay quite a bit of digging a little bit of beating this and that and come on you son of a bitch okay Hope it sees what I'm looking at. Okay. All right.
What a setup. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, that was a dream for a shower. I'm gonna clean that puppy out and get a, a fern coat fitting, get it in there. Tighten everything or lube everything up with some soap. And jam it in there, see what happens. Okay. So, cleaned out the hub. Insert the fern coat donut until it bottoms out. Got a piece of two inch PVC. I've gone ahead and put a slight bevel on the end of the thing as per everything I've seen or read on lines instructions and then I'm gonna cover it with dish soap to assist in sliding it in I did try to dry fit it into the, the fern coat fitting and it was real snug I'm not incredibly concerned but kind of concerned I'm not gonna be able to get it in because when I put it inside the I put the fit of fern coat inside the hub there. It feels like it tightened up, so see you in a minute here. It's gonna be hard to see when I get it started. Maybe I should no, I don't wanna start it outside of it and then not be able to get it in. Okay, yeah. Just tap the end of it with a plastic mallet. Till the bottom's out. That's it. It's a watertight connection. It feels real tight. I just gotta cut some piping to go, and connectors to go from here back up to the original drain after I redo the shower. So for now I'm just gonna cap this and we'll go from there. But the whole reason for making this video, and I'm not a plumber by any chance or any stretch of the term, but I was looking to do one of these and I couldn't find any videos of anybody that had done it. One guy got close, showed you what you should do. Take this, put it in here, take this, push it in there. But uh, nobody actually went all the way through with it. So hopefully this helps somebody else that might be looking to do the same thing.